philosophists. Carry on. I don't have time for this. You meditate today? If not, you should. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, 
I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Thereabouts. I'm getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. I'm drinking here. Move yourself on. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Move along. Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. Hope Zora sends me on next. This armor itches something awful. Zora sends me on next. Hmm? Ah, 
Ah, hello. Good to see you again. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot, area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up black good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. There's your iconoclast theory of chaos in action. Mister, I don't know what chaos is, but rocks ain't got theories. They're rocks. Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Huh? Why? Oh, ha! You're funny. No one saw me trip over that, right? What are you buying? I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. This armor itches something awful. Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air.
bastard. Good thing Zora needs tendons. to our missions. That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a manticore. You'd rather sit on your thumbs and starve? No. All I'm saying is she gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. Carry on. Hey. Huh. Hmm? As you were. A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. 
and hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. What? Sorry. Long day. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. All right. I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. It's fine. Perhaps someday I'll be strong enough to recall that tragedy, but today is not that day. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I would like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Bakonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some paean to an invisible creator in the sky. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I'll give you that. Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. Were my teachings beyond recognition, I dare say I wouldn't have a small army of followers who understand and believe. I owe you an apology. I expected you to be a complete idiot. I'd say you're actually more in the 25% idiocy range. Likewise. Now, I'm sorry. What was it you were asking? Ah, the Eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms, divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Everyone regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe? I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, 
which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Let us be clear. Neither of us can lay claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is that misfortune often brings opportunity. I found my path through the tragedies of my past. Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it, is nothing but hubris. All right. Why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought... rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace, from our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage.
Ah, hello. You're... still alive. All right. Why have you come? You meditate today? If not, you should. Hope Zora sends me up next.
sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Yeah, name Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. You joking? It's Monarch. Can't set foot outside without being attacked by a beast or a marauder. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted. Pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope this ain't in my performance review. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. 
I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten.
This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I don't know, Mr. Vicker. That seems like quite a leap. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... We will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They weren't willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Welcome. Son of a bitch. I know the press is important, but sending our two best out there? Boyd help him if the Vanois don't make it back. Exactly. Long term, I get it. Spread the message and all, right there with him. But at the moment, we got a lot of wounded and still more starving. Speaking of which, thanks for bringing back those supplies. They go a long way around here and we found nothing but sulfur in the ruins. Supposing all you've done for us ain't some kind of front, and that I can actually trust you? Screw it. 
We were trying to establish a foothold north of Stellar Bay. Eventually, when it comes time to throw down, a two-pronged assault makes sense. Um, how about the massive fuck-off walls, for starters? Then there's the food, the working landing pad. And besides, this is Monarch. All the roads here lead to Stellar Bay. We've got a numbers advantage, and these people are willing to throw their lives down in the pursuit of Graham's... our cause. Can't say the same of Sanjar's folk. Raptodons happened. Acidic sulfur pools happened. Starvation, disease. It's hell out here. You ever try living on a diet of cooked Raptodon? Half the time it just comes back up. <laughs> 